Hi everyone, I'm Sundari9, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. Uh, we're here in Mist, so you can even pull up the uh, town map, which I don't think I've shown off yet. There's this house here. Uh, thank you very much, those of you in the comment section, tell me that there's uh, stuff here. You go inside this fireplace, go up a little, and keep going right, you find treasure chests. Uh, we have a gold hairpin and clothing. I don't think any of the boys will be able to use the uh, hairpin. Nope. But if you go down here, you just head down, you have two more treasure chests. A polymorph rod and a ruby ring. Uh, the Polymorph Rod gives three more intellect and uh, eight more attack. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what it does. I don't remember this rod, honestly. Uh, if I remember, I think the not they may not be the same treasures, but these treasures just are here in older versions as well. Because I remember the whole uh, fireplace thing after I started looking around. Um, we're gonna throw it on anyway. And here, I put polymorph rod. And try using it in battle. It'll probably cast something like a uh, mini, maybe frog or something. But there you go, you uh, have those. There's a shop and uh, there's a weapon and armor shop here, but honestly, there's nothing there for you. So it's all older equipment, especially in the armor shop. Okay, with that, let's head back to Troy and really, really start these this next part, which will be very interesting. Let me grab a save real quick. One other thing I did is in between episodes, I went and grabbed a fire claw, a fire claw for Yang because I saw that I didn't have one. It's nice to have one of each claw for Yang. That way you can hit whatever element you want to. Hi. Hello, travelers, and welcome to Troa. Thank you. Troa, I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce it. At per usual, I'm wrong. I'm going to go ahead and say that. You wish to seek the crystal? Then you need to seek audience with the uh, ep epithets, epithets inside the castle proper. I'm not sure exactly how to uh, pronounce that anyway. They're like uh, clerics, I believe, something like that. A survivor on the assault of, of Damasian was found washed up on the shore. He's recovering within the castle. Man claims to be a prince, although that is not something I am inclined to believe. Troy has never known war. We are a peaceful people. If it came to arms, I'm not sure we'd be able to fully defend ourselves. Do not speak to me if I was some common grandmother. I am Troy's Lady Chancellor. The epithets you'll find in the chamber behind us. Just call them clerics from now. Okay, through here. the infirmary please mind your voices an injured man rests within is that a fact hey look who it is Edward Cecil so you survived too you cannot know how I've worried I I must fight by your side again fight fight to stay on your feet perhaps don't be a fool you need to rest and recover. Tulla, you are well then. Please, accept my apologies for what happened to... to Anna. 
She died because... Because of me. Know that I am... Truly... <coughs> Edward, you mustn't strain yourself to speak. Yang? You're alive too. What... What of Rydia? I could not save her. I see. The poor child. Forgive me. All of you are fighting. And I but lay in bed. Don't you worry. Me and my Enterprise are taking up the slack. I hear you risked your neck for Cecil and Rosa. Now it's my turn. You just leave things to old Sid for a while. You're Sid? Then, you escaped with an airship? Wait. Cecil, what's become of Rosa? She remains captive. They've demanded Troa's Earth Crystal in exchange for her life. But the crystal is already gone, stolen by a dark elf. Yes, and we're not supposed to know this, but I wanted to show it off. <laughs> really, you're supposed to speak to the... Uh, to the leaders first, and then you find this out. But it's funny, if you go and talk to Edward, they, S Cecil, you know, has telepathy or something, he just knows. <laughs> he can read minds, I don't know. <laughs> he has, he has, you know, he's clairvoyant. <laughs> Regardless, it's just funny, I wanted to show him. A dark elf, you say? <clears throat> Cecil, I want you to have this. What is it? The only way I can accompany you now. Please, carry it with you. And we've obtained Whisperweed! Cecil, you must save Rosa. Whisperweed is a, is a uh, fancy plant. Uh, here's a golden hairpin, which is really awesome. It gives 7 defense, 10 magic defense, and it has lightning damage. A great, uh, a great headpiece. The problem is only females can use it. Now, uh, key items. Whisperweed. Grass that can carry sound across great distances. If two people have Whisperweed, uh, you can think of it as kind of like a walkie-talkie. You can uh, talk over great distances. Neat, right? I don't remember it being Whisperweed in the first, uh, in the old iterations. I don't remember exactly what it was, but uh, now it's Whisperweed. Uh, which is cool. This is required. <laughs> I'm going to tell you now. If you do not talk to Edward here, you are going to die. Just so you know. Edward survived. Rydia. So just keep that in mind. You have to. <laughs> that young man trying to push himself so. Edward, you survived. What if Rydia, I wonder? <laughs> Old curmudgeon. Seems he's got his reasons, though. Edward's harp rests upon the floor. Yes, I even put Edward's harp here, which is neat. You mustn't make him exert himself. He had a fragile constitution to begin with, and now he's weakened even more. Prince Edward is bedridden. Yes, yes he is. Thank you for that. Wow. Huh. Okay. I kind of expected more than just one line <laughs> like that. Anyway, you will need this whisper weed. Hello. It may not look it, but this is actually our battle uniform. It affords little protection, but it does provide mobility and is fashionable. Again, remember they're not exactly prepared for prepared for war. So there's that. Uh, let's see. Anything else?
This was once our dungeon, but it now serves as a storage vault for our treasures. I can only allow you inside with the Eptet sleeve. Have they given you permission to enter? Nope. They sure have it. My, you're an honest one. And even if you try to bluff, you will be, you know, called out on your bluff. So there we go. I have to get permission before you can grab those treasure chests. I don't remember if there's any treasure chests here. Hidden treasure chests. Like I said, uh, castles like to hold uh, hidden treasure chests. Like here. <laughs> Tent. Even though these aren't very hidden. Uh, there are treasure chests. Tent. Tent. Uh, high potion. Two high potions. Ether. Ether. Ruby ring. Ruby ring. Alright, good. Uh, those ruby rings are actually... Actually, uh... Will come in handy. You'll see why. There's all that. Make sure you grab those. Uh, in particular, the, the two ruby rings. Uh, and here, wine... Okay, that looks to be it. Again, I'm probably wrong in missing some uh, hidden treasure chest. Again, I don't remember every little thing about this game, but... Oh yeah, we're inside. Troy Castle Floor 2. Eight are the Eptits and sisters all, stewards of the crystal from times immemorial. I see there's the uh, the eight. Hi. You came to speak of the earth crystal? Then you came too late, I'm afraid. It has been stolen by a dark elf and it now grows weaker by the day. Should you enter the lodestone cavern to the northeast with any metal weapons or armor, the magnetic field will render you nearly immobile. The dark elf who stole the crystal dwells in a cave on an island to the northeast. Without the Earth Crystal's boons, this land of plenty will soon revert to a barren wasteland. Dark Elves are extremely vulnerable to weapons forged of metal. The one who stole the crystal has turned the walls of his cave to lodestone, erecting a powerful magnetic field as a means of protection. Retrieve the crystal for us and we will allow you to borrow it, but we ask that you bring it before us first. We cannot give you the Earth Crystal, but we could lend it to you for a time. Of course, you'll need to recover it first. And here are the eight Epithets who are the rulers of, of Troy. Our land has always been blessed by the Earth Crystal's bounty, but now the crystal is gone and I fear for our future. So there's that. Up here is the Crystal Chamber. As you can see, the crystal is gone. <laughs> There may be hidden there may be something hidden in there, you might want to take a look. But I'm just going to continue on. As we leave. Now It said that the cave is to the north is to the northeast. which is right here. However, there is a problem. There is nowhere to land the Enterprise. So you may be wondering, well, what do you do? There's no bridge either, so you can't just walk. I'm gonna have to walk the entire way. This looks interesting. I mean, look, it's all, it is like a perfect, perfect circle where everything else is kind of scattered about this is even easier to see in the older kind of 2d versions let's land here so we're gonna have to walk a little bit
And of course, we'll get into a fight. Hello? Moth Blossom and Trent. Let's have Sid analyze everything. And I put the Fire Claw on Yang as well. Alright, with that, let's try the uh, Polymorph Rod. 440 weak to fire, and of course both of these are weak to fire. Hit! Polymorph Rod! No effect! See, yeah, I figured it casts like... Mini, frog, pig, stuff like that. So, neat enough, and it gives more int, which is cool, but, uh, I'm gonna stick with the... Wish I had that fire rod, but I know where it is. <laughs> it is currently, uh, petrified. I think, I think, uh, Pollen was carrying the fire one. So, I'll hold on to the ice rod, then. Inside here is the Chocobo Village. The stench of Chocobo pervades the air. Uh, this is... Uh, if you have the Geisel, uh, Geisel Greens, you can call the uh, Fat Chocobo here, and you can store items and such. Uh, pretty neat. Just so you know. Oh, didn't see what that was. There are treasures hidden in the grass you just have to uh, there's no indication you have to just run into them and and then uh, uh, to find them there are a few kind of just like hidden paths like this uh, some will lead to treasure chest Good enough. Now, you have a few different ones. Although it doesn't really look like it, this is a uh, white chocobo. Catch it, and you get your MP restored. Neat, right? This will fully restore all characters' MP. Very handy. Make sure you know where they are. This is a regular chocobo. It can walk on, it can walk on land, and while you're riding one, you won't fight any enemies. It'll help you get places. This one's special. This is a black chocobo. It's here caught you now somebody in town will make note of this black chocobos are special they can fly very neat right they can only land in forest lucky for you there's a forest right here now when you land don't worry it will stay here but when you get back on it it will fly back to its uh, to the forest that you got it from I think I may be thinking of a different one. But there you go. Why would Edward ask us to carry these stalks of grass? He seemed to know something of this dark elf. If the cavern possesses a magnetic field, would metals not be affected? A magnetic cavern? Wonder, th wonder how that could be put to use. So. I'm going to save here because I'm going to make a point of said magnetic cavern. <laughs> Alright. In we go. The magnetic field of this cave is unbearable. Better remove all our metal armor and weapons if we want to be able to move in here. My claws don't seem to be affected. And we have my magic as well. There's nothing to fear. Uh, when you enter in like one of the older versions, like the uh, SNES version, uh, there would be a green 
the screen would like go uh, glow green, which was cool. To show that hey, you're in the magnetic, you're in the uh, lodestone cavern now. Have fun. <laughs> I cannot wield a sword in here. Even my metal armor is useless. Ah, uh, why won't you change? As you can see, everybody has a status effect. Why? Because everybody is wielding something magnetic. Which is a problem. Now, Yang said his claws are, are uh, not affected, which is true. However, his silver armlet is. The ruby ring, however, is not. So, as you can see, uh, now Yang is fine. It's not letting me change uh, change anyway, either. Alright, let's get into a fight. If you have something, you cannot move. Hit, hit. You are paralyzed. You can do absolutely nothing. Which is terrible. In the old versions, you didn't have this little status effect to tell you, hey, you're paralyzed. No, no, you had to figure out what you could and could not use. Uh, Fratello, I believe the thing weighing him down is also his silver armlet. This, you, this is why these ruby wing rings are so important. Because they don't count as, uh, as metal. You know, they should. And that'll uh, get rid of Telos. He's fine. He can use his rod, even though you think the rod would be made out of metal, too. Uh, the feather cap and guy here. Now, the person most affected by this... By the way, let's just give Sid his uh, ruby ring. But you'll see that he's still affected. That would be the mithril shield, which is why I was like, Oh, yeah, the mithril shield won't help him right now. <laughs> this is why. I see that clears him up. The person most affected by this, however, is poor Cecil. There is very little he can use. Remember, he's a paladin. Heavy armor, sword, shield. And help if I did the other things right. So he can't have his illustrious shield. Or his helmet. Or his knight's armor. Or his gauntlets. Which leaves Cecil with very little. And also, look, still couldn't do anything. Now, something that wasn't in older versions, that's kind of cool. Maybe I could use these shards, which is why I was kind of wondering. Can I use this fire shard? Oh, good. Well, at least it gives him some way to attack. In the old versions, he just swung. He had to swing with his fist. Uh, Cecil became pretty much a healer. He would use his MP to, to heal up the party. So, no shields. Uh, this is why I got a feather cap for Cecil. That's why I got uh, Gaia gear for Cecil. And here I have a ruby ring. That's why I have those, so he can actually have something equipped here. Uh, potions will be a, uh, a really good friend here. Now I can switch to people because they're not paralyzed. Such a strong magnetic field. Let us pray my magic holds out. Swords may not avail us. But I could still use my fists. That you can. Didn't expect it to be this strong. Can't even use metal equipment. Now, thankfully for Sid, also, his hammer is not metal. <laughs> it's wooden. You can use it. Uh, tell all spells and yank. Like I said, this really, unfortunately, demotes Cecil to being a healer. It's a very interesting concept that Cecil has to learn to do without all of his strongest points. His sword, his high armor, uh, the shield, etc. Uh, is this the way we... I think this is the way to go. Which is not good, because I want to go the other way, because there's treasure chests in here. So you're going to have to learn to do without all that. Now... Hit, hit. I need Sid to analyze. Analyze!
Nidohawk has no weaknesses and neither does the Kate set. But. A hint. Oh, that's a cool looking thing. It's like a. Like a little elemental dagger, I guess. But, Cecil's not gonna do much with it. I mean, he has an attack power of 5. <laughs> His base sword at the beginning of the game was stronger than that. <laughs> Alright, tell all level increases. Hooray. Now, the, uh, the other characters will be extremely useful here. Uh, Cecil's going to have to rely on them. I right, hear we have a high potion. Hooray. Make sure we get the uh, map completion thing going on. Preemptive strike! Uh, Ogre. We need Sid to go. As you see, they have uh, 1,065 HP, and they're weak to, I believe that's holy. It's the holy element. But you can see, they have a ton of HP. Hi, nice Rod. They also hit decently hard, so... Uh, swing away. Bye. The thing that's gonna get you in this place is one, of course, if you have uh, metal metal things on. But uh, two, you're just gonna if you run out of resources. Counterattack, which really won't do anything for Cecil. By resource, I mean MP. Sure, Tella can try to. Uh, you'll want to make sure Tella at all times has five MP, so he can try to Osmo something. Uh, the Ice Rod, especially in this version because of how good it is. Uh, how they made the rods work. You'll definitely want to use those. Uh, Sid and Yang will be doing the majority of the damage. And like I said, in between uh, fights, you could use Cecil's, uh, Cecil's White Magic to heal. Sid gains a level. More strength and stamina, that's good. Yang gains a level. Speed and stamina. Like so, to uh, kind of heal everybody up. Uh, don't be afraid to be packing a lot of potions. They'll help you. Just in general, though you get good EXP in this place, you don't want to stay here very long. It's just not in your favor. Just because of how how strong the enemies are and not being able to use a lot of of your good stuff your heavier equipment your uh, you know Cecil's weapon counterattack yay <laughs> and that's pretty much everything for this place I've kind of gone over gone over most of it. Uh, the Kate Sith, there's one thing to know. I'm not sure if it knows it now, in this place. One of the iterations of it knows the, uh, Blaster command. What Blaster does is it will... Let's see if I remember it right in this, in uh, this Final Fantasy. It changes on, you know, depending on the Final Fantasy. I believe in this one, it insta-kills. It's a, uh, insta-kill maneuver, which is, uh, highly dangerous. If you ever see that type of enemy, that cat with the big whiskers, and has, like, Kate Sith, that goes, has a couple of other names that we'll see along the way, that are kind of bigger versions. Uh, if you ever see that enemy in a Final Fantasy, be wary, because it could know the blaster command. Most of the times, it does. And with that, it knows insta-kill. So be very careful. Just another reason not to stay in here that long. I love the gimmick of this place, but that doesn't mean I like this place. Really? And then of course I would get 99%. 
I don't even see where the one percent could be. Ah! Uh, no, I want you all to swing at the same one. Tell all, why do you not swing at the same one? Uh, also bring some tents along, because you can always go outside and rest to get your MP back, your HP, uh, things like that. Uh, considering talking with everybody and all the side stuff, this episode's just about over. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go outside and use a tent. How does this upgrade command work? Cast Blizzard... So it would give your... You use an item to get a elemental status effect. Neat. That's cool. Like I said, I'm going to uh, go outside to heal up and get that 1% that we're missing. And next time we'll head further into the, into the Lodestone Cavern. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and had a lot of fun. This place is very interesting because you have to... You have to rethink uh, how people work, especially in older versions. In, like I said, in older versions you didn't have some of the luxuries you have now. And Sid gains another level. And Cecil gains a level. That is the good thing about this place. You do get a lot of EXP. So there we go. Until the next episode, I'm Sindre9. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.